Kian Corlett, the people of the world are witness to a humanitarian catastrophe in Gaza. Israel has unleashed the weight of its military might upon a beleaguered refugee population. They rain their arsenal of missiles down upon two million impoverished people hemmed into an area half the size of County Louth. This indiscriminate mass slaughter of innocent men, women and children is carried out in full sight of the world, in full sight of international leaders who have failed, who have refused to shout, stop. They see clearly the carnage and human rights violations inflicted on the people of Gaza. They have heard indeed the Palestinian people described as animals. They long know that Israel imposes an apartheid regime. Our hearts break for the loss of Israeli lives on that fateful night of October 7th. But be very clear that the Israeli offences against Palestine predate that night of horrific loss, which has been roundly and fully condemned. That condemnation stands in stark contrast to the refusal and failure of our own government in Dublin and of governments across the European Union and the world to condemn Israeli violations of international law. I believe that is shameful. Yeah, yeah. And I would remind our government that the recitation of all of our interventions and charitable acts for the Palestinian people do not relieve you as a government of your primary responsibility to hold Israel accountable to the world for its acts of impunity and its violation of international law. And we in Ireland know all too well the pain and tragedy of colonization, occupation, dispossession. We know the the, we've known conflict and suffering. We've known war. We know peace. So there is no excuse, no pretense that we don't understand the playbook of the colonizer, the occupier, the oppressor. We carried that weight and trauma for centuries, and we still work to this day to reconcile, to heal divisions, and to bring people together. So our history now speaks powerfully to us. It calls on us to speak out, to act in defense of Palestine, to act for freedom and self-determination. It also tells us that Ireland can and must be a leading voice for dialogue, for a just settlement, for ceasefires and for peace. To paraphrase the words of a great peacemaker lost to us this week, we know that conflict can be solved through dialogue and we know there is no excuse for conflicts to become eternal. As Palestinians pull their dead from the rubble and cry out to the heavens for justice, Gaza cannot become the graveyard of international law. Decimated Gazan neighborhoods cannot become monuments to the international community's tolerance, acceptance, facilitation of Israel's violation of Palestinian basic human rights. And as we speak, Jan Korla, the Gazan people face annihilation. Entire families are being wiped out. Hundreds of thousands displaced from their homes, their schools, hospitals and vital infrastructure obliterated. They are now running out of food. They are drinking unsanitized water in a desperate attempt to, save, to stay alive. Blockaded on all sides cut off from medical supplies, from fuel and energy. Israel is laying waste to Palestinian life in Gaza with the imprimatur of some of the world's most powerful entities. For generations, the people of Palestine have endured this daily brutalization. Their lands have been occupied and annexed. Their people displaced their homes and schools bulldozed to the ground, their sons and daughters executed and incarcerated, and their lives literally ravaged by apartheid. Israel acts with impunity, 
discarding international law, flouting UN resolution after resolution. And this current onslaught, this bombardment of collective punishment is the horrible but very predictable crescendo of occupation, annexation and oppression. And as the people of Gaza cling to their very existence, the leadership of the international community must now resurrect those values they claim to hold dear. And so with one voice, we must call for immediate and full lasting ceasefires. Unified, we must call on Israel to end its bombardment of Gaza and stop the indiscriminate slaughter. Together, with one voice, we must assert the primacy of international law and dialogue as the only basis for a just resolution and a foundation for a lasting and transformational peace. Keongorla, that is the only way that the children of Gaza and Ramallah and the children of Tel Aviv and Haifa will see the future they deserve, free of conflict, free of hatred, a life of peace led as full and equal citizens.